Okay, let's start. Uh, hello, everyone. Nice to meet you all. Thank you for joining our unit. My name is Xie Jun, and this is my partner, Liu Xingguo. Uh, we are all tutors from Open University of China, right in Beijing. So where are you from? Please tell me in the dialogue box. And uh, my major is Chinese law, and uh, uh, his major is computer science. Uh, we are collaborating on exploring the application of AI in legal education. So the title of our presentation is Enhancing Online Education, Integrating Lower Plane and uh, LLMs uh, in Practical Course Implementation. I will see AI instead of LLMs because it's much easier and the meanings are similar. Oh, by the way, I will introduce all the content uh, because my English is slightly better than his. <laughs> and uh, uh, if you have some questions, I will try to uh, translate his answer. And uh, <clears throat> uh, our presentation consists of four parts. Uh, background, our practice, the problems need to be uh, solved. And uh, we uh, we can have a discussion in the final part. Uh, we look forward to your wonderful perspectives. Uh, let's begin with the first part, background. Uh, <clears throat> the first uh, uh, items, the uh, necessity of practice teaching. Uh, the purpose of learning, legal learning, is to solve the uh, legal problems in real life. To achieve this, uh, or students need to learn theories and uh, legislations, and uh, more importantly, develop their vocational, vocational skills through practice, such as analysis, simulated court, and uh, internship training. Students need to gain practic practical experience and uh, improve their comprehensive ability in real or simulated uh, environments. We have some difficulties in practice uh, teaching. The implementation depends on conditions such as value, facilities, and uh, time. A lack of practical values and insufficient funding guarantee make it difficult to carry out many activities. From the perspective of the students, they need to attend the activities at a fixed place and uh, time, which is not convenient for them. From the perspective of the organizer, there is a shortage of teaching staff. Many law teachers have never worked in courts or, or law firms, making them inadequate for practice teaching. Fortunately, generative AI can help us in several aspects. First of all, AI can build an interactive role playing system, which can simulate the conversations between lawyers and the clients, as well as inquiries between judges and clients make the simulate, simulation process more real, realistic and in-depth. In the second, according to students' oper operation, such as case uh, analysis, argumentation, AI can generate detailed feedback, including support and uh, suggestions in language uh, expression, logical structure, etc. The third, AI can construct learning materials centered around, around a certain knowledge point, including definition, case analysis, testing, etc. Actually, AI created infinite possibilities and more applications require educators to explore in depth. The second part is our practice. The first learning uh, scenario we said is a mock court where AI lawyer and students engage in court debates. AI lawyer can serve as a mentors for students. This can save a lot of manual investment and reduce the cost of practice teaching. At the same time, it also provides convenience 
allowing students to practice anytime, anywhere. The second scenario we set is reviewing homework. In this sample, the teacher set up a case study assignment. After students input their homework in the system, AI can provide ratings and feedback. When teachers carry out practice the teaching, they often follow a popular routine, IRAC, a basic method for developing a legal mindset. I stand for a um, issue, requiring students to point out the key legal issues or controversial points of the case. R uh, means rule. Students need to state the relevant uh, legal rules or judicial precedent to the problem. A uh, stands for application or analysis. Students will apply the legal rules to the cases and explain how abstract legal rules can be applied to the facts. C stands for conclusion. People need to predict or interpret how the court should rule on the case or suggest what action should be taken. This is a case analysis written by a student. You can see the homework is completed following the IRAC structure. The first part is issue and the second rule. The third one is application. The last one complication, uh, conclusion. And then this is a evaluation uh, given by AI. In this case, the evaluation was conducted according to the requirements of IIAC with a maximum score of 10 for each item. AI rated each item, point out shortcomings and offer some suggestions. Due to uh, time constraint, we cannot analyze the accuracy of these evaluations evaluations from a content perspective. Basically, the effect is still satisfactory. This can liberate the teachers from mechanical review work. I hope the AI review is not too perfect. Otherwise, I may lose my job uh, because fewer tutors will be needed if AI can do it. The third application uh, scenario we said is the uh, generation of teaching materials. For a given legal concept, AI generated teaching material from several aspects, such as definition, in, uh, elements, relevant legal provisions, related cases, etc. In this sample, we input the prompt together with the concept lib labor relations. AI generated the teaching resources we need. So teacher no longer have to worry about the shortage of teaching resources. Of course, the generated content depends on the prompt we input. The third part, uh, I'd like to talk about some problem needed to be solved. Uh, there are topics related to technology. I imagine in law, so I don't really understand them. I just read some explanation from my partner. The first question, is the output from LLMs reliable and timely? Uh, first, we know the accuracy of LLM outputs, outputs is determined by the manufacturers, not the teachers. Secondly, LLM may not contain the latest legal uh, knowledge due to its version limitation. Our solution is uh, retrieval augmented uh, generation AI, RAG, and local legal files. Uh, first, teachers prepare legal documents, ensuring their accuracy and accuracy uh, and time timeliness. Timeliness. Actually, uh, we uh, download some uh, documents from a professional legal database. Uh, which uh, ensure the content is correct. Uh, secondly, uh, these documents are uh, vectorized in advance 
and uh, store in the vector database. Now the system can perform uh, semantic query with. Suddenly, when students ask questions, the, the system uses AI RAG technology uh, to find the relevant content from the vector database and generate answers with the LLM. The second question, do LLM process legal thinking? In other words, how can AI solve uh, legal problems? Theoretically, our goal is to enable AI to think like a lawyer so that AI can become a sparing partner for students. The biggest issue we face is uh, LLM's legal reasoning ability. Our solution is introducing the IRAC method into the system. Uh, here we, uh, we, uh, uh, we provide a paper uh, named <clears throat> Uh, a paper suggested that using the IRAC method for legal reasoning with LLM surpassed other methods. Uh, they achieved a, a precision of 0 0.789 and won the championship of the uh, Coney 2023 legal reasoning competition. Our system is essentially a much agent system where the agent so-called jurist has its system prompt incorporated into the IRAC method. We will try to apply their findings by incorporating the IRAC method into the AI agent system problem prompts and the results are promising. Uh, the third question, how do we prevent LLM outputs from being biased and or limit the understanding. Uh, tools uh, emerge from the clash of adverse ideas. Actually, we have a Chinese similar thing, saying the truth become clearer with more debate. It seems that debate is an important method to resolve biases in LLM. The, the experimental data provided in the following paper also supports this point. Uh, te uh, technically, we use a multi-agent multi framework, framework, setting up two or more AI agency, agents to debate a topic from opposing viewpoints until they reach a, a consensus. Only then do we present their agreed upon answer to the students. Uh, here, uh, I, I want to emphasize uh, the paper we, uh, we, we talked about, uh, encouraging diverge, uh, diverging thinking in large language models through much agent debate, uh, because this paper is very helpful when, uh, when we deal with the problem. The fourth, can I use my preferred LLM? Uh, yes, uh, what you just you, uh, you need to do is make a simple modification to the configuration file, so, uh, so, uh, sacrificing the LLM and the API key you wish to use. Uh, we use a Chinese LLM named Tongyi Qianwen. Uh, we compare the result uh, with the, uh, the content come out of uh, the output from, from ChatGPT. Uh, we believe, uh, we believe uh, the, the Chinese LLM uh, offered a better uh, result. I, uh, so we suppose when people deal with uh, local uh, problems, the local LLM may be better uh, because uh, the database is more uh, <coughs> is, uh, is better to 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 uh, resolve the local problems. Uh, the five, fifth question, can it be integrated with existing uh, L, uh, LMS? Uh, yes, uh, we've uh, employ, implemented the learning tool interoperability, LTI standards. Any 
LMS that match the ITI standards can be easily interpreted. Uh, for example, Moodle, like uh, Blackboard, Covers, uh, covers uh, Sakai, uh, they all can be integrated with LLM. So it's very easy for us to use AI in our learning, uh, learning platform. Uh, in summary, we've adopted the popular multi agents framework. RAG, MAD, and other technologies in the de development of LLM, in incorporating IRAC methods uh, into the uh, into the prompts, uh, help us to carry out the practice uh, practice teaching. Uh, we've recorded all generated conversations for uh, for later anal analysis and uh, audit. Currently. Our experiments are limited in school, but the outcomes have surpassed our expectation. We plan to expand our experiments, improve algorithms, and uh, publish our data. Uh, that's all I want to introduce. Uh, so uh, it's uh, now it's uh, uh, communication time. Welcome to. Uh, Offer some um, some wonderful ideas or some questions. Uh, 